a few of my friends call me Jer Bear. Well, I can tell you one thing, this daggone bear is ready to come out of hibernation just like this backyard golf course is, guys. Let's get going, it's 2024, one of the biggest seasons yet to date to come. In this episode today, we're gonna to talk about three major things. Getting ready to start a huge project. We're actually gonna get started on that today. Merch, Spud Runs, got a Shopify account now. We're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you some of the products we're gonna have so you can order and be just like me. And three, the coolest event in all of America when it comes to golf, the 2024 Subscribers Tournament. We're gonna to talk about that too, guys. Let's go. Coming into 2024, the first project's quite a hefty project, but I've put it off too long, guys. Irrigation. It's time to get irrigation on the golf green itself and then all the immediate surrounding of the golf green. We're gonna get that thing laid out. I'm gonna tell you about more about the, the problems I've had with not having irrigation in the past, the solutions I think it's gonna to bring to us, and more importantly, uh, we're gonna start laying this thing out right now. So the first thing I will say, but I've got my two inch main across the creek right here. I've got a little meter pit set up there and from that meter pit, now check this out, we go underground. I've got a conduit chased over there for a wiring. So there's a conduit coming up. So what we'll do is we'll come in here where I got my outlet. We'll build a mount right here, our control panel for the irrigation unit. Here is our design. I think I can put something a little bit better up on the screen so you can see. So I went to site one, site one, done this drawing i've got an estimate on all the parts i need but we're going to have five stations uh two of these stations will work the green perimeter then those other three are going to get all the surround so there here's the creek so we're going to irrigate from the creek over around the bunker up this hill a little bit back to the car path so the first step what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that piece of paper and walk around and we'll go and flag out my irrigation heads i'm going to kind of step them off because irrigation, which may sound super simple, but there's some math that goes into it. You need to know how much gallons per minute you got. You gotta know your pressure because basically you can fail a design by putting in the incorrect irrigation heads that won't reach. So if, if you put in an irrigation head that's designed to reach 30 feet based off your PSI and your PSI calculation is wrong, you're gonna come short. You're not gonna be able to cover that area and in turn, it's gonna give you problems in the summer when it's dry, you're gonna have dry spots. So we've already done the calculations on our water. We've got the design done with all the proper heads. Now basically it's laying them out. And, and one of the things that I'm really not looking forward to, it's more disruption on this golf course. It's more grass, it's gonna to turn to dirt. Today's like March 2nd. I'm hoping to get this thing in, get some seed going because our season really kicks off middle of April. That's when the golfers start rolling in from out of town obviously want to be the best it can be i still think we're going to have uh, traces of this irrigation system march 15th or april 15th but it's got to go in uh i love having the golfers in but I, i've got to continue to do projects to make the course better and that's what we do that's how we do it these particular heads we have right here will go 39 to 65 feet they're adjustable basically i'm going to do a general layout then we'll go back and check make sure everything's going to reach We got 45 feet from this one to that one. So these heads, they won't go in a full circle. These ones won't. So basically they'll be half turned. Now I'm not gonna use this two foot bucket for all this trenching. Obviously that's way too much, but for this particular area, We've got a lot of valves and stuff coming in. I uh, use this two foot bucket. That dirt's got so many rocks in it. Ideally, these irrigation lines, I'd like to rent a trencher and trench them in. I think we'll be fighting too many rocks. Just a lot of, a lot of creek rocks in there. Now, obviously, I, I mentioned why are we doing this? What's some of the pros and cons? I got plenty of water down this thing last year. It's more so about the timing when I do it. I'm watered in the evening, which is very bad. This new 
Okay, you can see here, we got that two inch stub out exposed. I've got to get the one foot bucket now because I am going to dig a one foot trench straight back this cart path, parallel with the cart path, because I want to go and run a water line up to the hack shack. And that also gives me water up on top in case we'd ever do an Airbnb up there. We actually have a site approved for septic. It's all good to go. So having this water ran up that hill will give us power, water, the septic. It's just like a few skips away from building an Airbnb up on that hill, which would be cool. Unfortunately for us, the one foot bucket is not on site, so I've got to get that. It's going to set me back an hour or so, but we're going to get that and we'll come back and we'll swing by the mill shop and I'm going to show you one of the shirts that we got and we're going to talk about our merch. Spud Run's got merch, baby. All right, we're back to the mill shop. We got the one foot bucket now, we're ready to get back to the project, but beforehand, check me out. So, a good friend of mine. Wasn't a big Spud Run fan, but here in the last couple months, he stumbled upon us, caught up on everything, and he's like, Jeremy, dude, he's like, we got to do this. So he went to town. My guy, Jeremiah, went to town on this Shopify account. So we've been try just trying to work through the kinks, get everything ready, but we've got some awesome products available for everybody at Spud Run. You're going to see me wearing them in the, in the upcoming videos. Very excited to be able to offer this to you as we scroll through the page here. You can see some of the different things that we have. We've got the beanies, we've got the hat, we've got the t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, we've got the golf shirts, we've got that one loud golf shirt that that's the Jeremiah design himself. And of course, my favorite, this thing I got on. So I'll put the link to our Shopify account down in the description. So after you get done watching this, if you want to support the channel anyway, this is an opportunity to support Spud Run Golf by buying the merch. That's something uh, I think you'll enjoy. As we drive back to the golf green, this kind of gives me an opportunity into the next segment, the next thing I wanted to talk about. A funny story. Our first subscribers term we had a couple years ago, when people come in to play at Spud Run Golf, you know, we had the 12 golfers. So people was dressed up pretty fancy and uh, there's no dress code for like subscribers term or if you want to play. You can wear your normal golf apparel or you can just hell i don't care if you don't wear a shirt i don't i don't care it's it's totally up to you obviously but anyways that first subscribers tournament some guys came in was dressed up pretty nice and he's like is there any dress code or anything i was like no nah. so the next day he rolls in with like a megadeth t-shirt on and we rocked it out the rest of the weekend so let's get this bucket changed and here in a minute we're going to talk about the subscribers tournament the details how to get entered when's it going to be blah 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 because i know it's the fastest growing event in the whole wide world Especially here on Spud Run Golf. I'm taking advantage of this nice day. So I got the trench ran. Our two inch line has ran up to the hack shack. So we'll have to do more digging here to configure our, our backflow. This would be where all our valves are at. And I think I've decided I'll, I'll trim this out and probably just put some landscaping around this this corner here maybe people kind of treat that as a free relief and not hit from it all right running out of daylight here on this beautiful march 4th day let's talk about the subscribers tournament it is going to be september 5th 6th and 7th september 5th 6th and 7th so what happens now well if you're interested in playing you're going to shoot me an email spudrungolf at gmail.com last year we had over 100 people apply for that now don't be scared people come from all over they come from canada they come from texas People fly in, people drive in. If you want to play Spud Darn Golf in a tournament like nothing other, I can tell you what, I, I, it's it's a it's a ball. I can guarantee you that everybody's ever played before, it's one of the best tournaments I've ever played in their whole life. There are no requirements. No handicap requirements. You can be a scratch golfer. You can be a 35 handicap golfer. We'd love to have all of you. So I hope you're still paying attention because in that email, just describe a little bit about why you want to come to Spud Run, why you think you'd fit in with the subscribers in that tournament setting and i know we've had two videos on the subscribers tournament so you should know all about what's going on great food great fun great people great golf just a hell of a weekend so what i'll do is once i get the emails here in a couple weeks we'll narrow it down to 11 golfers we'll get it down to 11 golfers i'll start shooting out emails and hopefully around april the middle of april we'll have that final list that we'll publicize here on one of the youtube videos to tell you who those 11 lucky players are don't forget about the merch. There's a link down in the description for the merch. I'd like to see some Spud Run Golf merch all across America. Guys, that's all I got for you today. We'll continue on this irrigation. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Spud Run Golf, over and out.
Ooh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hey. 